Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video, I am back in Anime Fighting Simulator X, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the best method on getting Yen, and the best method on getting the new Eerie Shards, and spawning the boss, and update one on Anime Fighting Simulator X. I wanna first start off the video by saying, please subscribe, as we just hit 3,390 subs, we are almost at 3,400, and we're basically going for 5,000 at the moment. I've been streaming pretty often, so in recent nerfs, because the, the update came out two days ago, I guess now, it would have been Friday on the 4th, today is now the 6th. They um, nerfed a lot of things, but one of them being that I'm talking about in this video is going to be Falcon. This is the guy that you get a quest from. So they nerfed him because um, before to get Hero Killer right here, you had to have 100 trillion total power, which I don't even have right now and I've been getting a ton of, of Yen. Now it's all the way down to 10 trillion, so I can accept that quest. The other one also got a nerf, it used to be 10 trillion trillion and now it's uh five trillion but if you come over here this is stain over here he is the new I guess quote unquote pain. He drops like a, a drop. You have to you can kill him more often and you get yen for it. But this is the best method of getting yen because if you have stat boost or a yen boost right here, you can equip it and as you saw earlier when I opened the quest, you would get twelve thousand yen. The old island you would get five thousand yen. So if you double that it would have been ten thousand. If you double twelve thousand it would have been twenty four thousand. So it is almost two and a half times faster. And the thing about it, staying right here, he is not even that much stronger he like i mean he's stronger because he's further in but he's not that bad like if you have monkey he's not too bad like if you have the new ability falling down it is super strong let me show you guys watch that did like about a fifth of his health which is really good damage wise on these guys because they have a ton of health on them so compared to like some of the uh older ones but look at that he does more and you want to know the crazy thing is i don't even have a a transformation equipped so i just did like over half his health with that without even a transformation so let me try equipping a transformation now that you can see i have the transformation on and i have more health cool thing about the transformation i want to show you guys is my hat and everything it fits perfectly like this is my character's eyes so it fits it and then this is the teeth and everything it fits like perfect and it's kind of funny but now that i have the transformation on you, let's see how much of a difference it makes it does it does like over a, it does about a third now so it goes from a fifth to a third and if you have a uh, mata and the game pass it's like twice as quick so that's that's that that's the best way to kill stain and the other thing with stain is there is a new currency like i mentioned at the beginning of the video it's called eerie shard you get this from stain they also buff that i will put that on the screen right now to where it's easier to get so it used to be a 0.5% chance of getting, now it is a 5% chance of getting. Um, along as the same thing with these guys over here. It used to be a 0.1% chance of getting, now it is a 1% chance. So it, they buffed all of it quite a bit, um, which makes everything a lot easier. And the best way to like spawn new boss would be you have to, the only way actually, would be to come in here. You have to go to your inventory, you have to click it, and then you have to click use. There is a 20 minute delay for each one you use. And the boss has 120,000 HP, which doesn't, it's not a lot actually. But if you have like three people that have quite a bit of strength, you'll be fine. You'll easily be able to beat it. But so if you come over here after cleaning the stain quest, you'll see uh, this guy, if you click E, 12,000 yen. And that's without a uh, yen boost. So I did this for, I believe it was two hours. Uh, so I used four yen boosts. I did it with two people, two to five people. We were back and forth. And I actually went from about 1.9 million yen before to the point where I could upgrade my sword and have 100,000 extra. So that means I gained about 4.7 million yen in about two hours of consistency. Like I didn't stop moving was the thing. And I don't one shot is the crazy part. I don't one shot neither did anybody else in the lobby. So I gained because it's 6.6 .6 million to upgrade. I'm, work I'm going to work on this but not all i got for this video um hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to like and subscribe i'll link my discord in the description as well for anyone who wants to join i do lives pretty often um and i'll see you guys in the next one peace